Hello! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I am Mrs. P. Tarleton and today I wanted to show you how to display your student work in your Bitmoji scenes, your Bitmoji classrooms, like the one that I have showing here. Let's dive in. So I'm going to start out with a blank slide. Get rid of all this. I don't need this. Left click, drag over it, and then press delete. I often want to set up my page to match what I'm going to be posting. Usually the student work is eight and a half by 11. Could be landscape, could be portrait. I'm going to go ahead and set this up landscape. So file, page setup, custom. We're going to go 11 by eight and a half inches. And there we have our first slide. I like to do a solid black background, but you can change the background to whatever you'd like. You can even just put a picture if you'd like. So I'm gonna add a solid black background. I'm gonna insert some word art. This is where you would design it however you would like. I call mine Buzz Worthy Work. Stretch it out. Let it fill your page as much as you'd like. You want to change the font, you can change the font right here. I usually like this one. And then add some decorative elements around it. I also like to change the font to yellow. So I'm going to go to my fill bucket, change it to this nice bright yellow, add your Bitmoji extension if you don't already have it. And then I'm going to find the bees. So here's one that I like. Right click it, copy the image right click and paste it here or you can drag it and drop it in to get the little bees I use this one here you can also use this one if you would rather let's try that one right click and let's save image as and I'm gonna go to remove.bg and remove the happy bee day upload the image from my computer erase make this a little bit bigger and then just drag along here and get rid of those letters you could leave the balloon or you can delete the balloon so I'm gonna go ahead and delete it you just want to come in here as close as you possibly can there we go download your image it'll download to your computer in your downloads go back to my presentation Insert, image, upload from my computer, it's in my downloads, and there it is. It's kind of facing the wrong way. I want it to flip around so I can right click it or I can go to format and then format options. Size and rotations will allow me to flip it the other way. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. And then if I control D, it'll duplicate it. I'm going to put this one up above here. I just like that better. That works. I also like to keep my added elements to threes or odd numbers, threes, fives, get that visual triangle going. So this will be my title slide. This is like the bulletin board. This is the main title of my bulletin board. And now I just want to add some slides below this. So I'm going to add some blank slides. If I just hit here and control D, it will duplicate that blank slide. If you wanted your background to be black, before you duplicate it, you can change the background and then duplicate that way. Or if you go here, click on your blank slide, click on background, change the color, and then you can add it to your theme. That will change all of the backgrounds to black and then done. So if I decide I want to change the color, I can do that. So then from here, you're going to have screenshots, pictures of your students' work, and you would just insert image and upload them from your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and upload my students' work. So now I've added all my students' work, and sometimes if I have a lot, I want to add a couple extra title slides in there so that it'll keep reminding everybody what it is that's playing in the background. So we're going to go to add-ons 
We're looking for Creator Studio. If you don't have it, go to Get Add-ons. It's totally free. Search here for Creator Studio and install it. Once you have it installed, you go to Add-on, Creator Studio, and we're going to create a GIF. The output that I generally like for the size that I'm using, I do 800 pixels. I usually leave it for intervals of two seconds. Slide down here, make sure it's clicked on Animated GIF, and go. Down here it tells you that rendering is completed. Click the download arrow and it will download to your computer. Once it's downloaded to your computer, go to your Bitmoji classroom, your Bitmoji scene, go to insert, image, upload from the computer. It's going to be your most recent download and you're just going to grab the corner and shrink it down to fit where you want to put this. I gotta make it fit my frame. It's a little too big. I want to squish it in a little bit. Now my bitmoji is behind it. So click on my bitmoji, arrange, order, bring to front, and there you have it. You have your student work that can be playing within your scene, even though over here on this other chalkboard, you are going through your lesson or your presentation with the students. Hope you found this helpful. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you. Have a great day.